a Where Are They Now edition of Tully's Tales. Let's take you back to February of 2019. We've got a good one this week. Darren with Pet Pal Animal Shelter has brought Andy with uh, him today. A sweet, uh, timid dog that I think has a lot of ability to learn. And that particular morning, we just fell in love. Yeah, we just I, we I both mean, saw her and we saw. both <laughs> fell in love at the same time. Grover and Stephanie Sharnagel adopted her right away and named her Jasmine. Oh, she's very smart. She is. She's a problem solver. We, we have to train ourselves to make sure we don't get mixed signals because she just picks up on everything. Kind, caring, and a protector. My yes. mother is 88 years old. She seems to know that she has to watch out for her. A life-saving companion. One time when my mother fell that we were unaware of it, she would not let us go. She was pestering, pestering, pestering until I went back to check on her. Thank you, guys. Really got a good one. It's almost like we got a service dog but we without didn't train a her. service dog. <laughs> yeah, we didn't train her this she, way. She just came in and she just selected her mom and, and just said, OK, you and me. Oh, it makes me feel so good to see one of our dogs, a former rescue in action, finding a great home there. Well, I wanted you to check out Tully's Tales on Facebook. Just type in Tully's Tales and please post your rescue story there. Anybody that you know that loves animals, has a rescue pet, tell them about the Facebook group. Join in, post your story there, and maybe I'll choose you to be on the air here for Tully's Tales. We'll be right back.